you doing here? Hello darlings. Today I want to talk to you about something called the law of repulsion. Now everyone talks about the law of attraction. It's quite the buzzword in the metaphysical world these days and even villains are getting in on it. They're thinking, I can just attract anything I want. I can do some affirmations and manifest my desires. And I mean, think about Crowley, really. You can put your your altar out and call in dark forces or the light forces or whatever you like to do your bidding. I'm here, my darlings, to call bullshit on the law of attraction. I mean, how often does it really work for people? It's just a ploy to sell oracle cards in my book. That's what I think. And don't get me wrong, I am all about vertical integration, but uh, I'm gonna get into the oracle card business too. I'm just saying it's a ploy to sell oracle cards. Law of attraction, you want the law of repulsion. What you really need to do is be repulsive. Seriously, and you'll get everything you desire. That's all it takes. Repulsion is the real law of the universe. Being repulsive is the way to get the universe to turn its eyes on you. Be repulsive and everything you want will begin to come to you in time. There might be calamitous things that come your way, maybe. But I mean, if you're a real villain, you don't mind a bit of calamity. And here's the thing. A genius villain can turn calamity into something utterly, deliciously wicked. Seriously, you should try it sometime. Here's something I like to do. Go to a fancy restaurant and take the largest table, say, I have a, a group of six coming and come and sit at the largest table, order the cheapest meal, and drink nothing but water. Leave the lowest tip and then depart. <laughs> just say, my friends are parking their car. Or they'll be here in a minute. I mean, just as long as you can really drag it out. Really, that's the key. That's one suggestion. Or here's another. Go to the library and read, well, oh, Terry Pratchett and belt out an evil <laughs> laugh next to the lady who's trying to concentrate at the free, uh, free computers. Hmm. Especially if she's trying to do like a PowerPoint presentation, give her, give her a tip that'll lead her down a rabbit hole. It'll take her absolutely nowhere. And she'll just spend the next hour being frustrated. One more suggestion, charge exorbitant fees for your services. Overstate your abilities and get worshiped for your incredible feats. Entrance an army of minions to work for you for little or no pay. Just get on Craigslist. Anyone will do anything if you give them the right wig or the right costume. I'm serious. All you have to do is invest in the most sexy costume and everyone will work for you for free for a time. And then you have to, I don't know, give them other perks, put, I don't know, uh, the, the, the red vines. Buy red vines at Costco and keep them stocked and you will have all the minions you want. You need to practice wherever you can. Practice your villainy in every context available. Be as annoying and repulsive as you can wherever you go. There's a thing. Do this enough and you'll be with the big players in no time. The mistake that most people make is to lay down on the job in the downtime, watch Netflix, get on Facebook. You need to go out in the world and practice your evil genius everywhere. This is how you become the superstar uber villain that you are truly meant to be. There's no downtime for us and there's no fucking law of attraction. I mean, be attractive if you want, but be repulsive in every other way possible. Being repulsive is the key. Do it with style and the world will fall down before your feet. If you do it with style, everyone will love you for it. That, my darlings, is my wicked wisdom for you today. Now go enjoy a delicious vanilla latte and think of me. Ah, I have an itchy ear. Oh my. Let's get itchy ears. Oh.